You know what we're doing today? We are reviewing the new Pat McGrath Labs Love Collection. I am so, so excited to put these products to the test. There will be timestamps down below for you guys, just in case you're only interested in certain parts of these videos. I am going to break this up over a couple of days just because there's so many eyeshadow palettes. I do like to get a little bit in depth. So stay tuned for the very start after this like little intro, because I do explain how this review is kind of going to work. But don't you worry for those of you that normally check out my reviews, we're still doing arm swatches and like hand swatches and all that stuff. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Before we do, let's do the YouTube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. This is my little Pat McGrath Labs Love Collection haul. Two liquid shadows and, th and the three eyeshadow palettes. I didn't pick up any lips, I didn't pick up any blushes. Uh, the one lip I did want, which was the nude lipstick, isn't available until the end of February. So I might pick that up in another order eventually, but it's, it's not a need for me, so that's okay. Now, if you have seen my review videos before, especially for eyeshadow palettes, what I do is we start off with swatches. So I do a full arm of swatches so you can see the color story and then I individually swatch each one of the eyeshadows on the back of my hand so that you can see what it looks like blended out. What I'm gonna do to save this video being intensely long because there is three eyeshadow palettes and I don't have time today to do three looks and all that jazz, I'm going to break this up. For today's video, I'm gonna do arm swatches of all three of the eyeshadow palettes so you can see the color story of these three palettes. Then, and also I'll swatch the liquid shadows. Then we're gonna do a look with the all matte palette, which we'll, we'll get to and I'll show you, and the liquid shadows so that we can put them to the test. And then I'm gonna do a separate video and eye look with each one of these other two palettes. And in the respective like look videos for these other palettes will be another like arm swatch and then the individual hand swatches. And I'm gonna try and get these up. I'm gonna try and work my butt off and get these up like in the next few days in a row so that you're not waiting too long because you might be looking for one palette over the other. The other thing that I'm going to do is a swatch comparison video. You guys seem to really like when I do this. So another video that will be up this week, hopefully, as long as I can get all of these edited in one week, if not, they're coming very, very soon, is I'm going to compare these palettes and these swatches and also these liquid shadows to all of the other potential similar shades in the Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow collection, as well as maybe any other shadows or palettes that I have that come to mind and liquid shadows, all of that jazz. So what I'll do is probably do this video today, the swatch comparison tomorrow, and then the two looks with the other palettes the next two corresponding days, as long as I have time and can get them all up. And hopefully that's, that's okay. I just didn't want this video to be three hours long because we all know how I am. The eyeshadow palettes individually were 106 Australian dollars, and then uh, there were bundles, so you could get two of them for 193 or all three palettes for 291 and then you could use the code LOVE10 for an extra 10% discount off that. So it worked out to be an extra $30, like $260 for all three. Then you have the liquid shadows, which were 48 Australian dollars each. And I don't actually think they put them in a bundle. Like they only kind of seem to put them in a bundle with like everything. So you could either get all of them, which was 294 Australian dollars or like the whole collection in a bundle but you couldn't get like say three colors, which I thought was something maybe she, like, she was missing out on there. I thought maybe if she had done like, you know how when she put the blushes out, you could get like three of the blushes for a bundle price. I felt like that was a missed opportunity, but that's just me. Let's actually talk about these liquid shadows first and then we'll get into the eyeshadow palettes. As a side note, I know you guys will be like, oh, don't even worry saying this, but just in case, my nails look kind of gross. I had gel polish on and it kind of flaked off and I just, I don't have enough time to do my nails and film this morning for this collection. So I just put a kind of like, top coat on so I'm sorry they're not they're not glamorous but it's a makeup channel not a nail channel so these little bad boys are called the fetish eyes longwear liquid eyeshadow she released seven shades give or take I may be wrong don't come for me I'm pretty sure it's seven shades <laughs> counting is hard the general overview liquid shimmer shadow creamy texture ultra blendable crease proof smudge resistant 10 hour plus wear you get 6.1 milliliters or 0.2 fluid ounces of product. I picked up the shades Cosmic Chartreuse and Twilight pa Platinum. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Twilight Platinum. I mean, these, you just, we all saw these shades and went, these are, these are shade, uh, shades for teens, didn't we? Because they really are. Packaging is really cute. Now they are like a plastic kind of bottles, so they don't feel heavy or luxe, but it is cute. Like I, I really like the little eye that they've got going on here and it's, you know, it's very in theme with Pat McGrath Labs. The expiry as well is only six months. Just be mindful of that because I personally find that her concealer kind of holds to that six month expiry. So just, you know, 
keep that in mind maybe only buy like one at a time if you're not going to use them a lot or something like that just depends on you i mean you do you you can make your own decision decisions twilight Pat platinum let's just swatch these i have swatched them already i couldn't help myself because they're so pretty i mean doesn't that look stunning let me zoom in here for you there you go look at that oh isn't that gorgeous now for kind of I don't know, context sake. Does this feel any different to say any other liquid shadow I've ever felt in my life? No, it really doesn't. It just feels like a standard liquid eyeshadow. It feels very similar to the Lisa Eldridge one almost as well. Doesn't have any crazy like, it do, it's definitely not a liquid special shade in a bottle, which I think maybe a lot of us were probably anticipating a liquid special shade in a bottle. It, and I think that's a missed opportunity for her, I really do. But I mean, is it beautiful? Yes. Is this a me shade? You bet your bottom dollar. But it's probably just not as sparkly as maybe you guys might anticipate because that's it's all blended out, right? Now let's watch Cosmic Chartreuse, which is like a greeny, goldy color. You knew I was going to get this one, didn't you? <laughs> These two colors, I have, to, I have to admit, are very me, very stunning, very much enjoy them and love them. So this one is Cosmic Chartreuse straight out of, like, just applied with the applica applicator. Gosh, oh, I can't speak today. I'm sorry, my friends. Uh, and then let's blend this out a bit. I do admit, these don't feel like they're going to crease. They seem to dry down. Like, they seem blendable, but they do feel like they're going to dry down. But we will test it on my eyes. Don't worry. Ooh, that's pretty. More of like a rustic antique gold, in my opinion, with a hint of olive green. But it is very pretty. So that is the liquid shadows swatched out. Let's go ahead and start on the eyeshadow palettes now. These are the three eyeshadow palettes. She's called them like motherships, but they're not the traditional motherships that we know in like the black long packaging with the 10 shades and the special shades. So an important note to make is none of these eyeshadow palettes here have special shades in them, which I personally think was a huge miss, <laughs> huge miss, because I just think the most special thing about Pat McGrath Labs shadows is special shades, right? Like we all love well, not all of us, I can't speak for everybody, but the majority of us love and adore Pat and covet her eyeshadows for that special special shade formula. And like even the Bridgerton collabs had special shades in them and they're phenomenal in my opinion. So I think it was missed. This is the outer carton for the eyeshadow palette. So it matches the, the packaging of the eyeshadow palettes themselves. Has all of your ingredients and your details and everything on the back. It says it's a 12 month expiry, made in Italy, you know, all of your standard pat stuff. And I just, I honestly think these are beautiful. Like, let me know what you guys think of this artwork, but I really feel like this artwork is just absolutely stunning. I really, really do. And apologies, I completely misspoke. It says that these are made in the USA. Made in USA of US and imported ingredients, which I, is that a first? I know that some of you know a lot more uh, like history of Pat than I do. So let me know if this is a first for her making her shadows in the US. I wonder if the formula will be different. Let's open these up. This is Velvet Liaison. I mean, I have wanted an all matte palette from Pat for how long? Those of you, I know a lot of you find my videos from my Pat McGrath Labs reviews and stuff. You know I've been screaming for this and we will get to my thoughts on it. So that is Velvet Liaison. And then this one is Iconic Infatuation, which is like a beautiful, rosy, pinky, dusty tone one. I really like that one. And then this one is Sublime Seduction, which is a very warm tone, bronzy one. Are these similar color stories to what she already has in her collection? Yeah, absolutely. I think the only real unique one here for me is this matte one. She definitely has these color stories, but they are different. Like these are different shades. I can already tell you that. Um, and especially, I'm especially excited for these three right here. I really like both of these. I think these color stories, we need to swatch them. I haven't swatched them at all, but I think these color stories you can probably like duplicate from your collection, especially if you have a larger Pat McGrath Labs collection, but we will get to that in my swatch comparison video, okay? Let's just start swatching because I feel like I'm just going on and on.
So they're the swatches on the arm. Let's go ahead and uh, swatch these out in the back of the hand. And this is quite interesting to me. So these mats feel like I've never felt this formula of matte from Pat before. Let me see if I can find this shade name. So sorry. This first shade is Beige Bliss. And the, I mean, I have wanted a shade like this from Pat from Day Dot, so I'm very excited she gave it to me. It's like my skin tone, so you know, you're not going to see that much from it. Now, these feel different, these mattes. This one here feels very creamy and soft and silky. It feels really, really nice. You can tell it's highly pigmented. I mean, you probably can't tell too much because it is the color of my skin pretty much, but it, it feels super nice, like very, very lovely. But some of these feel so different to her normal mattes and I don't quite know how to explain it without, I think I'll talk about it a little bit more in my swatch comparison video because these feel like this one here feels so creamy and powder like and not powder like sorry but like creamy and like finely milled and silk. It feels like silk right? This one here is enamored and this one feels quite similar. Not quite as silky feeling and buttery feeling but it does feel very softly milled and like cloud-like, like it feels just beautiful. Honestly, it really does. This one is Plum Provocateur and this one it also feels very finely milled and like air-like and just really, really lovely. But some of these didn't feel that way. I mean, that's very pretty. I don't think this one looks as pigmented, blended out as what you think, but we'll need to try it on the eye. Swatches are not necessarily as well a indicator of performance. Sometimes things can swatch horribly, like Viseart I usually find swatch horribly, but the level of performance on the eye is unmatched. So, you know. But then you've got like this one, for example, and this one feels rough. So this one here is Midnight Mink, and this one feels drier. It doesn't feel as silky, and it feels almost rough-like. And it's, it's just an interesting, it's such a different formula in comparison to these three here and a different formula in comparison to her other palettes. This one right here is Barely Veiled. I am dying for this shade. We all knew I would be. It is gorgeous and it's one of those silky, silk, buttery, creamy, almost feeling mattes. And I just think I'm going to fall head over heels in love with this. I really do. This last one is Voluptuous Rose. And this is one of those, like this one here, where it's a bit drier, a bit rougher. It's it's not feeling as silky. I will say the more I seem to be swatching it, the more it softens, but it's just such an interesting texture. But then this also swatches quite similar to this purple one here. So it's, I don't know, maybe it's just the imprinting at the top. I'm not quite sure. So that's all the individual swatches for Velvet Liaison. That's all of the arm swatches. We're done with swatching for this particular video. I'm gonna create an eye look now with Velvet Liaison and the Liquid Shadows. And I'm very, very excited to see how this goes. So let's get into it. All right, I've zoomed you guys in like offensively close so that you can really see these eyeshadows at play today. Uh, listen, I'm not a professional makeup artist, okay? So don't come for me and my technique being in this close. I've primed with my Rare Beauty eye primer because that's my favorite eye primer, works with everything. So we know for consistency's sake, it's not the primer if these don't work. I have not tried any of these. I've only swatched them. I literally got them yesterday. It's like 4 a.m. in the morning here <laughs> because I have to get up that early to, before work to film. That's what we're doing, so you know I have coffee. Let's uh, dip into Velvet Liaison. Oh, I'm just so happy she gave us a, a matte palette. And to be honest with you, I know that she has some of these tones, but for me, this is everything I wanted and more. The only way this could get better for me, honestly, is if she released this particular palette in the satin matte finish as well. Oh my gosh, my little heart. My, my heart, little heart would just be so content. I love that satin matte formula too. We're gonna dip into this one first with a BK201. Now there is a bit of kick up, but that's kind of normal for her shadows. So I'm not too fussed, but if that bothers you, then you know. This is literally the color of my skin. I could probably use this as a face powder, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm just buffing this through the crease just to do it. This will make a nice, like um, you could create like an, a matte kind of where you would put metallic down on your eye normally, you could put this color and it would like brighten your eye, nice like matte in a corner shade, that kind of a thing. You know, you can weld your oyster, you know what I mean? Grabbing a refa number 27, we're gonna dip into this one right here because I am just dying to see what this is like. This is my kind of a shade. I'm so basic and I am okay with it. So, just 
just going to start by working this into the corner. Oh, these feel lovely. Now, this shade was one of those ones that I was telling you when the swatches felt like silk. Look at this. Can you see? Look how easy that blended out. Wow. Wow. One thing I've always been critical of with Pat is her matte shades, I won't lie. Even though I wanted an all matte palette, her matte shades seemed to get better with every single palette she released. I loved the Bridgerton mattes. They were exceptional. I really like the mattes in Moonlit Seduction. And these so far, like that blends lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's good. I mean, again, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Don't come for me. I just like what I like. and do what works for me. So I thought that these would blend lovely just because of how silken they felt. I just, I can't describe it. Um, anyone that has these already and has, has felt it and is picking up what I'm putting down, maybe you can help me describe the feeling of it in the comments. I'm tempted to use this shade, but it's a little bit warm leaning and the shades that I'm going to use of these are quite cool, like cool tones. So I'm just going to dip into this shade now with a refer number 14. Oh yeah, that's nice and buildable. Nice and buildable. I don't feel like these are as wham bam. You know, like Pat's mattes are like, oh, hello pigment. You can tailor them, but normally when you, if you're not careful and you're not used to them, you're just like, boom, pigment. These feel very soft and buildable and I appreciate that a lot. Like I think if you're a beginner, you'll find these mattes so easy to work with. Again, just my opinion, take it with a grain of salt. Watch other reviews, you know, that kind of a thing. Don't. Don't just take what I say as gospel because everyone has different opinions. But if you usually align with my makeup, if we're makeup twins, you might feel the same way. We're going to leave those mattes here for now and get started on the liquid shadows. I'm going to use both of these today because why not? I'm going to put the twat. Twilight Platinum, yeah, Twilight Platinum on the outer portion of the eye, and then I'm going to put Cosmic Chartreuse in the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to take Twilight Platinum first, and I'll apply it directly to the lid here, and just see how this performs. And then I've just got a ref for number 28 to just like blend this out a little bit. I mean, it's very pretty, holy dooly. That's a beautiful shade. I'm just looking to see how these integrate with the mattes as well. Cause sometimes you can get liquid shadows that will get too wet and like cause the mattes to like bunch up or like get darker. But so far this is blending easily and looking very pretty. I mean, that's very pretty, very pretty. That's a beautiful shade, like beautiful shade. Look at that. Oof. Like a smoky eye, stunning, absolutely stunning. Now we're gonna take Cosmic Chartreuse and I've just wiped any excess color off on that refer number 28. And we'll just pop a little bit of this on the inner corner here. This is a gorgeous shade too. I'm very happy that this is a lot more green um, than I thought it would be because I picked up this kind of a shade from Lisa Eldridge thinking it was going to be quite green and it wasn't. It was very gold, which is fine, but I wanted a green, so I'm happy that this is actually more of a true green. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I like that. That's stunning. Wow. That's beautiful. All right, let's do this eye. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm very happy with this. This is very pretty. So far, it's not stinging my eye or anything. Sometimes liquid shadows can do that. This one's not doing that. Just wiping that excess color off again, and I am going to go back a little bit into this one and just pick it up directly off with the same brush, just because I did lose just a touch of that color. I got a little carried away with the, the green, so I'm just tapping it to marry them all back in. I'm just going to take this black... Victoria Beckham liner and tight line with it and then smudge it across my top lash line as well.
So we're gonna leave this here for now. I think that's really, really pretty so far. Honestly, I really do. Um, and those mats, wow, they were a dream. <laughs> I'm so excited about them. So I'm gonna go off camera and do my base makeup. Normally I do a speed through, but this video is just gonna be so long as it is. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go off camera. Everything that I use on my face though, you guys will be linked in the description box if you're wondering. Um, I'm testing a heap of new products too. So if my base makeup doesn't look good, I'm testing the KVD foundation and stuff, you know, it's cause I'm testing things, but um, I'm gonna go do that. We'll come back. We will finish the lower lash line and do lips together. And then I'll tell you guys my final thoughts. So two seconds. Base makeup is all done. Everything will be linked down below for you guys. I'm actually gonna put the Victoria Beckham bronze eyeliner on my lower lash line to begin with. This is just a satin Kajal one. I don't know if this is the right color, but we'll give it a go. We're gonna dip into this one right here with a Sephora precision shadow brush and just run it underneath the lower lash line. And I'll just take a touch of the dark brown on the same brush and just like smudge that slightly into this outer corner here. In a corner, I'll just put a little dab of this one just to brighten it a little bit. This is a very glam look for work today, but I'm here for it. I am here for it. I'm just going to quickly go off camera and put mascara on. I'm going to put my lipstick on. It is the Pat McGrath Labs Contour Lip Liner and the Nude Romantic 2 Lipstick. And then do my hair and all that jazz. I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. So two seconds. Finished look. What do you guys think? I am very into it. If you guys know me, you know that this look is so in my comfort zone. It's not even funny. I'm loving it. I really, really am. The mattes that I tried, granted I did only try three, but uh, I am beyond impressed with this matte formula. I really, really am. You will continue to see more looks using this, don't you worry. But I am, this is one of the best matte formulas I've tried from her. I said it. These are really good. These are really, really good. I am going to insert a little picture right here for you guys of what this looks like at the end of the day so that you can see the wear time. It's currently really early in the morning here. So you'll see a little haggard picture by the end of the day. My hair will look different. I'll look disheveled. Um, but so far, I'm loving these. They have not creased yet at all. Um, and I don't, I don't, I gotta be honest, I don't actually anticipate these to crease. I, the only liquid eyeshadow I've had crease on my eyes before or cream is the Charlotte Tilbury ones, FYI. So far, very, very impressed. High quality. I really, really like it. Um, and we will do those swatch comparisons and put the other two palettes to the test. So I can't speak on those for now, but I'm, I'm so happy and in love with this. I really like the liquid shadows and that's my thoughts and opinions so far for today. She hasn't disappointed me. Now, if you don't want to miss the next three days of videos, we're going to do swatch comparisons of the whole collection. We're going to do a look with the other two palettes. Um, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I truly appreciate you. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.